Oh, hello again. I've been listening to this news about the um, war in Syria. In fact, I heard the Russian foreign minister, what's his name, Bogov or something like that. He was saying that the uh, situation there is a lot more complicated than the West would like to make out. You know, this I mean, Kofi Annan peace plan is dead in the water, isn't it? It's just gathering air miles as Kofi Annan. He ought to give up. That blooming Assad, I thought, well, you know what I think about him. Anyway, this uh, uh, foreign minister from Russia was saying, if Assad goes, what you get in its place may be even worse. Then I heard some other commentators saying that these bombs that have begun off, what it was is that one of these I mean, uh, foreign ministers or whatever is defected, hasn't he? And he said that all of the bombs, the big bombs, you know, the most uh, deadly bombs that kill the most people, you know, one of them, well, they not generally kill 30, 40 people, but the other day, of course, there was that massacre where one whole village was seen to be stabbed and killed. And uh, Assad, apparently, is uh, in league with the, uh, according to this foreign, uh, former uh, ambassador, is in league with the um, Al-Qaeda, to wreak havoc on, uh, you know, the opposition. Anyway, what I want to say is that Russia, you can't trust the Russians really, can you? You've got Putin in there, which was really Yeltsin's retirement plan. He put him in so that he made sure he'd be good. And now Putin, he, he won't give up power. You know, they say he's popular, but anybody who, got, you know, has got a lot of people who go around with clubs and beat you up if you don't vote for them, well, they're bound to be popular, aren't they? <laughs> Bye for now.